Hello YouTube, this is Silverfire and today I'm starting a new series of videos which are like opening PC cup components and cleaning them, fixing them regarding like what their issue is so today the video I'm gonna be having is about opening a hammer mouse a USB hammer mouse is like I can't remember how much it's minimum four years old or something so yeah now the main solemn purpose of this video is opening the mouse first cleaning its external parts then reviewing uh, what the inside is and cleaning it I'm gonna try to input some information about what's it like um, what the insides are about and stuff so yeah let's begin I'm gonna just through my screwdriver let's see this is the right one so let's begin Yeah, I'm gonna suggest using a magnet to put your screw screws on it. This right here is a magnet taken from a desktop computer hard disk, which is like the big ones. It's really strong and good for such purposes. I never open any device without such a magnet that's the first thing I learned when I started working at an office to like fix computers and stuff summer always have a magnet on your side so after I've taken four screws from the button of this mouse the top part comes off as you can see this is the hold on this is the main thingy as you can see two buttons left and right mouse button the button on the middle which I forgotten what it is about OP I think it's something about the mouse speed or something and these two additional buttons up here for like zooming in or out which are like really good if you're working on documents Microsoft Office Word for an example or other graphical design software where you have to like edit the size of the page like 100% 50% 150% and sticks and stones so yeah let's continue now hold on let me adjust the camera yeah this is good now what we have to do is take this part over here which is like keeping the two side buttons which are like back and forwards if we're browsing Windows Explorer or browsers or other stuff like that there is a screw over here as you can see where I've placed the screwdriver it's here so we screw it off now what I suggest doing when you're using a magnet or not using a magnet at all and taking screws off is managing the place for the screws because for example I'm gonna tell you a story this summer I was working on a laptop I had to open up the whole laptop and how should I call it um, clean it from dust put oil on the CPU fan just so it can be 
super clean and stuff, you know. Things you must do working on IT stuff. So, yeah. I didn't use the... Like, managing where the screws are going and stuff, you know. And it was a mess because it then it's like screws are everywhere. You don't know what screw goes where because I had a stress day that day and it's like you easily forget. Now this is not what I would suggest doing when you're working on such devices like using a pocket knife so you can put something out of its place like is you can see this circum board is hanging on a cable which is attached on the main board but thing is it must be pushed up from it and since this device like this mouse has been used a lot in the past and the sad story about it is one day as I was playing League of Legends, I kind of raged too much and you can assume what happened then. When a League player rages, their rage is beyond their control. <laughs> so yeah, now it seems this pocket knife is not going to do anything about it. So. <laughs> a game of chess. What goes how? Remember, I was working on this. Oh, yeah. This is how it goes now. This is the second frame. Which is like... Hold on, let me check. How it's going. Everything goes in its own very special way. Really? Yeah, this is it. All you have to do is just fit these uh, screw holsters up here, like the ones which are bubbling up to their place. So, yeah. As you can see, it fits perfectly now. Now, allow me to bring this up to the camera so you can see it. This is what a mouse looks like when it's opened. You can see this certain board hanging around, blah blah. Let me just put this aside. This is what a mouse looks like. This is it. The device and everything, like. The cable you see running up from the mouse. And when I was little, like really little kid, I thought this whole thing is just like a mess of cables inside. And it's actually something really simple. Now, as you can see, this is the mouse wheel over here. It's attached to. What the Like, I really like calling things that hold other things holsters, you know? It's this whole board thingy which holds holds the mouse wheel. Now, as you can see, it has its own cable attached to the main board, which is like sending the command when you roll it up, down, when you press it, and yeah, also, yeah, the other thing is attached to it. So. This is it. Now, I have a really bad camera it's like giving a bad qualities I can't find a better one so I'm gonna try to show you something as you can see this color on the cables is something that happens with time that it's like how should they call it you know when they put rubber around the cables there is actually this liquid thing in the rubber you can't really remove because it is what rubber is so if you really want to clean it if it's sticky because rubber will start getting sticky if you don't touch it from time to time you need to get something to put alcohol on for an example i got some old sock for rag 
it's really good because it's if you put alcohol on it it's gonna absorb the alcohol and keep it in itself for like two minutes or something until it dries off so this is my little tube of alcohol I'm just gonna put the alcohol on the rag as you can see it has a spot of alcohol then I'm just gonna simply rub it around the cables you know so I can clean the cables from this shitty mess I really like having my devices cleaned with alcohol whenever I'm starting to use them you know old devices just because for an example this mouse when I got it off of my attic like a shelf in there I used to keep old device and stuff it was really sticky like the rubber could had its liquid thingy out and it was sticky you know sticky now that this cable is like cleaned I'm just gonna continue to clean the board itself a bit because <laughs> dust gets annoying there are markers and things in here which are like symboling what goes where or something but I don't care about them because I'm not gonna edit the whole complex of the mouse yet yeah having this idea about putting LED lights on all of my devices so they get funky you know it's really fun when your devices are having LED lights on them. It's like you're playing a game and for a moment you have to look at your keyboard and it's like wow lights glowing in different colors from the board. It's like wow, it's fantastic. For example, my computer on my right like this box here has LED lights on its power button and it's like constantly glowing in red, green, blue and the shades from those colors so yeah just want to take this off so I can take a quick look at what's under it but let me have a view Yep, now something I must let you all know about devices if you don't know it yet. Some parts, components, whatever you call them, are welded to the boards. Like for example, this cable thingy right here isn't welded, it's like attached permanently to the, to the board, but it's really strong plastic parts over here makes it really hard to take off which is like the main purpose of it as I see to make it hard to fall off so I'm not going to take it off I'm just gonna let it stay because I don't want to mess with it because I might break it I'm just gonna continue cleaning here from dust Now that the mouse is cleaned, I'm just gonna put the cables as they have to be, but hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make a deeper operation right here. Cause I don't like the whole idea of the cables positions. I'm gonna put these screws aside because I don't, know. I don't want to kind of mess them around with the other screws in my head loose. Now 
figuring out what else keeps it hold. something off because it's pissing me off yeah done now what else is keeping this board yes now this right here the mouse wheel there is a screw or under it so I'm gonna take the mouse wheel off as you can see this is the mouse wheel over here a cable going to the boards and the mouse wheel itself now what I'm gonna suggest to you people is to be really really gentle with the mouse because I for instance am like a gamer type of person and whenever I play a game I happen to rage sometimes and hit my devices so the mouse should be handled really gently because as you can see these two side thingies if one of them breaks the mouse wheel is gonna be like messed up and whenever you scroll up or down up or down it's gonna be like going crazy up and down up and down if you scroll down it goes up down up down infinite loop loop now another screw over here which is holding the boards intact taking it off here we go the board is off now what I would like to do is put the cable like how I can show you. it will go under the mouse wheel because cables are messed up things you know they can go really really terribly bad if you don't handle them properly and handling a cable properly is one of the main things you would want to do if you're opening a device because you don't want to mess up the cable and in the same time you don't want the cable to be jamming something okay just a second throw my eyes now everything is cleaned and ready we are ready to close the mouse so I'm just gonna be putting the screw back in its place something you should all be really careful about not forgetting to put the screw in its place the whole operation of taking the whole board off was like useless I should say useless that's the word useless because I could have done the whole operation without doing it. Just gonna place the cable back in its holster. Make sure that cables are fine. Hmm. Nah, that single thought came through my mind is just wrong. It was to get a zip holder, grab all of the cables to be together, but that is just going to ruin it. Putting the cable back in over here, making sure everything is intact, and then what I would want to do is put these two screws back in, in their place to make sure that the board is intact to the frame yep part one done part two done wow this screwdriver is kind of uncomfortable for me I'm using it because of the magnets right. otherwise I would use my other screws no joke now 
pushing this off right making sure that this thing everything is a-okay something you should all be aware of if you don't put your parts as they have to be you're gonna fuck up the device gotta make sure that everything is as it has to be now <sighs> I'm just gonna need a moment how to put this cable in its place without it moving because it's pissing me off. I'm just gonna have to push it a bit so it can firmly get in place. Right, just found out the place I need to clean with alcohol because it has all sort of dust and shit in it. Yep, now it's clean. Just where did I put that? Oh, yeah, now. This is in place as it seems, or not, hold on, yep, everything is in place, give it a gentle push, not so gentle, but a bit more, yep, in place, now, make sure that you don't ruin the setup, because that may cost you a few more minutes of work, putting this board, circum board, Whatever you call it, back in its place, like it has to be on this side. It can be like an issue to some people, but you gotta make sure everything is intact in its place, not running around like a fly without its head, as I usually say. Although flies don't run that much. Screwing, screw back in its place. Now, this is done, what you would want to do is put back this frame in its place, which is going to be like the these parts. Alright, it's in its place now. The big screws Something you may notice in the process if you're opening your mouse is if it's like a really big mouse or something, things might get a little bit out of place. Like if your screws are loose, instead of the two things being like 
metrical like this, things might get up and down, you know, out of place, which is really normal, because, you know, parts, metrics, this for an instance is really flat as it has to be, just gonna screw it up a bit more. I like to make sure the screws I'm screwing are great sleep screws. Now, let's see how things are. Alright, now, the mouse is intact. I'm just gonna put the screw back in its place in its box. Sides and finally shut the alcohol box because I don't want the alcohol to dry off. So YouTube, <laughs> this is about the video. Hold on, let me fix the camera. And if you found it useful, liked it, and blah 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 stuff like that like the video and give me your feedback in the comments below of course if you dislike the video just click dislike button it's like not a big deal it's all up to you and if you want to see more of the series like opening other computer parts or viewing my gameplay videos you can subscribe so yeah thank you for watching people it was a pleasure for me to do this episode as like I really love doing such stuff, working on computers and stuff, so yeah, have a nice day, evening, night, whatever, and see you later.